Hello everybody. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a WordPress server, a very popular content management system, blogging system on Amazon's web services, uh, the Elastic Cloud 2. And we are going to use a prepackaged image from Bitnami. And hopefully we are, we will be done in less than hey, five to 10 minutes. So let's get started. So make sure to log in into your uh, Amazon Web Services Management backend. And this is the list of all my instances. This might be empty in your case. And we are going to create a new instance. We are going to search for WordPress. Um, and there are literally, I don't know, thousands of images available. You might choose a marketplace instance or but I'm going for a community instance. Uh, marketplace have some uh, pros and cons, um, but for, th for this video, I'm going for a community edition. All right, so um, now you, you are able to choose one of uh, possible images. There sometimes is a good explanation, sometimes it's not so good, and I'm just gonna try, I don't know. Let's go for a Linux Debian, all right. Um, I don't need multi-site, let's go for this one. Okay, now we can choose our instance type and um, the micro, a very small instance type is uh, free tier eligible, uh, but I have to say this machine will be quite slow. The network performance will be low, so you're gonna have quite a lot of loading time but for the demo it should be all right if you want to go live or productive with your system i highly recommend choosing a bigger type all right another thing you want to do is change the security group settings and add http and https access to your machine from anywhere since this is a web server and we want to access this via the browser, uh, per default there is only port 22 open for SSH. We're gonna we are going to use that as well in a minute. But of course we also want that machine to be accessible via the web from anywhere. If you have a fixed IP range, of course you can add the IP range here. All right, this is going to create a new security group. Um, you might have a security group setting for every machine or one for different machines. That's up to you. All right, let's hit review and launch. And there we go. All right, another thing we have to do or to decide is, do you want to create a new key pair to access your machine or do you have a existing one? So I'm going to create a new key pair. Uh, I'm going to call it WordPress 5 key pair. Um, this is used to um, remote, remotely access your machine. It's not done with a username and password, but with username and a public private key key pair. Um, so you are going to need that and you should download that right away. All right, save it. We're going we are using that in a minute. So the instance is running and well, we can check out our instance. Uh, we will see that the, the state will be pending for a while. Um, this will take sometimes minutes, so you will not be able to um, open that web address uh, right away. But what we can do is, um, well, remote access our machine and see if it's running. And in order to do that, I have copied my key pair um, file into a folder and we have to do one more adjustment to that file. It needs to be read only uh, because otherwise um, we will not be able to use it. WordPress 5, all right. Uh, we can check if it worked and we see, all right, it's read only. And now we can SSH to our machine. 
So we are going to provide a key pair, WordPress 5 key pair, and the username is usually Bitnami, and we need the IP address. All right, there we go. Copy the IP address and hit enter. And now we are asked if we trust this host um, with this IP address. And since it's our machine, of course, we do. All right, and there we go. We are online. When you access your site the first time, you will get this warning because your certificate is not authorized by a um, certification authority. It is a self-signed certificate, so that's why your browser will warn you about. Um, since we know it's our machine, we are going to accept the risk and continue. And there we go. This is the front end to our blog. Um, if you want to access the back end, head over to WP WordPress minus admin. And they should be posted with the username and password. Username is usually Bitnami, I guess. And in order to get the password, you will head over again to your instances list and go to your running instance and go to monitor and troubleshoot and get system log. And within this huge log file, there will be a line saying that setting Bitnami application password to and then a value. And this is your password. And I highly recommend to save this password somewhere because once you um, stop uh, or restart, reboot your machine, that will be gone. All right, maybe. So the username is, I think, basically just user and the password we just copied and hit enter. And there you go. You are in your back end, your WordPress is up and running and now you can start creating content. Have fun.